I feel super, 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 super cool in this dress here. Those of you guys that probably don't even know that it's actually a dress, it's actually a dress. It's a really nice dress. It's gorgeous. I've had it for a very long time, and I'm surprised I have never uploaded or filmed a YouTube video with it on. I love that it zips all the way up the neck. Very, very stealth-like. Doesn't show up the boobs too much, but it makes you feel very mysterious down there. So, but I do really like this dress a lot. Um, I will definitely show you guys what it looks like right now. Do you guys like it? <laughs> I'm fat, I know. <laughs> Speaking of this dress, I wanted to actually film a special video for you guys today. A video that um, I feel like I should have been making a long time ago, but now that I have all the system and all the stuff for it, I think this is the perfect time to do it. I'm sorry, my ADHD is hitting me right now. Doesn't this cup look nice? It's a gorgeous cup. My girlfriend got it for me from icing. I'm drinking some Dr. Pepper from it. <clears throat> it's amazing. Hello, everybody. Hi, Charlotte Tears. My name is Charlotte. Uh, I'm Mama Char, whatever you guys want to call me. Um, if you have not become a Charlotte Tear today, please consider to subscribe. Uh, we have a channel growing right now at a way better pace than we've had in the past. I uh, can't say thank you enough. I've thanked you guys every video. You guys have been amazing. 70 likes so far on the last video. Boom. Mind blown how quickly you guys are becoming so supportive. Thank you guys so much on my picture that I posted the other day. Thank you guys so much on that as well. We have a lot of content to come. And I'm telling you guys right now, I'm so full of excited content for you guys, which is why I've been uploading like a mad woman. And maybe to a lot of YouTubers, that's not a lot, but to me, it's a lot. And I'm really happy that I am pushing myself more and more and more every day. So, in this video, you guys are probably gonna see me moving my hair a lot because uh, I just gotta look perfect for some odd reason. Um, but I hope you guys um, are enjoying the content uh, so far. Today's video, I wanna let you guys know about ways to transition your body. So I, what I mean by that is embracing your femininity, how to transition comfortably without overdoing it or underdoing it. So let's get started. This is an ad, but it, it, it's, it's a good ad, okay guys? First off, I do have a book out in stores if you guys want to check it out. Mystica, uh, A World Beyond Dreams is out in, in on Amazon. I'll be putting a link down below if you guys want to support me by buying my book. It is a hardback co uh, cover copy. Um, it, I worked really hard on it. I'm super excited for you guys to read it. I think there's a lot of cool things and it. it's a good story. So support me on that down below. So one of the things that people do a lot when they transition, when they first start transitioning is they have this over the top feminizing personality and we've all done it. I've done it and it's, it's just not a pretty part of our, per, uh, of our, uh, transition. And the reason why I say this is that this phase is usually at the beginning of people's transition. It's the phase where you're just kind of like bottled up your emotions, bottled up your femininity, and you're finally bursting it out. And this time it's like, boom, all over the place. It's like, it's like a, a, a woman being stuck wearing men's clothes in her entire life. And finally she has a chance to wear, you know, that female style. And it just blows up. They go overboard. They go get their nails done. They go do their hair like crazy. They put makeup on like it's nobody's business. And they do their, um, they put on the most shortest dress ever. All that stuff. And reality at the end of the day is it doesn't have to be like that. Now, in no way am I telling you guys how to transition or how, what to do during your transition. You guys can do whatever you guys want. But I'm trying to tell you guys a comfortable way a comfortable way to transition and not feel like you're a big dot in the middle of the hallway. Let's start off with what femininity is. So femininity is basically beauty of curves, softness, and elegancy, if that makes any sense. It is the non-harshness of a body. It's the, it's a feeling of calm. It's a feeling of a baby's bottom. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, femininity is something that is very, very much attracted to a lot more than masculinity. And I'll tell you guys why. 
Have you guys ever walked in a hallway and there was one really hot girl walking, a hot woman walking, and she, everybody's just staring at her because she has the best, you know, a dress on. She just looks so gorgeous. She looks so confident. It's not like that with men for some reason. It's there's not as much. I mean, there's probably gonna be women that are looking at the man, but it's not as highly anticipated as it is with femininity with the woman walking around. So whenever you're transitioning, you're already gonna exude that femininity uh, uh, energy. So once, and that's what a lot of you know, even if you're not the the point of the room and you're not the hottest girl walking on the hallway. If you are feminine in the hallway or in the streets or on in the mall, whatever, you are going to have more eyes on you than if you weren't. And double that with over femininity. There's a lot of people that are like, oh my God, they're wearing too much makeup. Oh my God, their ass is showing in those jeans. Oh my gosh, uh, they're, they're over the top. You're doubling the amount of attention you're gonna get and a lot of times it's negative. Now, I'm telling you guys this because everybody has a this little bug inside them and we get, we're given it at birth and it's this judgmental bug. It's this bug where you have to look at something that's over the top or under the top. Something that's boring or something that's really, really distractive and that can be you and it's not very good, honey. There's nothing wrong with being mundane and being normal and just dressing in regular clothes. Now, if you feel unfeminized wearing regular clothes because you felt like you've been wearing jeans and a t-shirt your entire life, I completely understand. Wear a dress. But when you're first starting your transition, don't try to pull up so much attention because it's going to be negative attention because now you're looking at, you're having people look at you because you're feminine and you're having people look at you because you're over the top. And now people are, might even be looking at you because they are clocking you or they are clocking you. Um, because believe it or not, we live in a society where a lot of people know there's trans people all over the place. They don't, they are, they see a woman and they examine whether they are natural or not. And it's not something that they're like, oh, there's so much trans women out there. We don't know who's real and who's not, you know, it's more so like a, a natural thing, if that makes any sense, especially being trans. Believe it or not, when I look at women in, in public, I do have that little bit of a brain. Is that person trans? Is that person not trans? Is that person cis? Uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. It's just probably just me. Don't overdo the top. I've said this in many videos in the past to not overdo stuff like makeup. Don't wear too much of short dresses. Now, if you're far into your, on your, in your transition and you feel very comfortable and you feel like you're not getting too much attention, there's nothing wrong with wearing short dresses or wearing a lot of makeup. But you, um, but when you're first starting, I'm talking about when you first start your transition, be cautious, ease your way into it, allow yourself to grow because believe it or not, young girls that are turning into teenagers, just because they, you know, get boobs or they, you know, whatever, they're not exactly like just going all hardcore into the, into the femininity scene. You no, know, there's some regular cis women are like that. And trust me, we all know this, the, the adolescence phase of everything. So, but at this point, just ease into it. Your voice is probably going to be really hard to change. Mine is still hard to change. I still sound like a guy. Uh, that's the reality at the end of the day. And I know that because I do a call center and 70% of the people call me she, her, 30% of the people call me he. So it's, it, it is what it is. But your voice can be really hard to change. And this is where I give you guys the first bit of advice on the voice. Now, I know, Charlotte, Mama Char, don't, don't be telling me something if you don't even know how to do it. At the end of the day, watch your voice because your voice is a big indicator. And if you're over here squeezing your voice to the point where you sound like a chipmunk, you're a big, 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 big um, attention giver. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Thankfully... I haven't gotten someone to go when I started talking. Never have. In fact, I in person it's different. I just I don't get that kind of uh, of reaction. I get like a you know, maybe deep inside they might question, but they're not like, "Oh my god, that's a low voice. Oh my god, that they're not expected to come out of you." You know what I mean? But when you hear like, "Hey guys, what's up?" Hey. Hi, oh my god! Like, and, and that's another thing, actually. The, the flamboyant voice. The whole hardcore, let me just... Yeah, girl! Maybe, like, super hardcore, 
You're talking like you're in some sort of different language. It doesn't need to happen like that. You don't need to overdo it. You need to just talk like you talk normally, but maybe with a little higher of a voice or work on your voice little bits in there. Because if you try to do it right away, you're going to sound like really, really hardcore. And I know it's hard not to do that because you're, you've had a masculine voice your entire life. And it's really, really hard to just not raise your voice super high because it's not exactly easy to start moving your your, your voice up in pitches. It's not that easy. So I'm not trying to unvalid, invalidate people that are actually really trying hard to move their voice up or, you know, convert their daily life from masculinity to femininity. I'm just trying to uh, let you guys know that there's an easier way to ease into your new self. For instance, I'm not wearing any foundation. I'm just doing my eyeliner and my eyebrows. That's all I do now. And I don't put lipstick on half the time or most of the time. I don't do my eyelashes. It's the simplest things that make me feel comfortable and confident in myself because I realize something. The less is more. The more is less. So the more that you do your makeup and all that, the more you're going to get attention, the more attention you're going to get, the more people are going to question. If people see a trans woman and they don't recognize transness and they see, oh, she's dressed up like, you know, a regular woman. She's not over the top. She's not over the... Because a, a lot of society thinks that trans women are these hardcore, you know, no hips, bulge coming out the front, thick ass freaking Adam's apple and their wigs speaking in some sort of high-pitched voice with over-the-top makeup that looks like drag queen. That's what a lot of society thinks. But the more you start to dress normally and dress like a, a regular woman, as if you lived your whole entire life as a woman, people will not clock you as often. And people will just see you as a regular woman walking down the street. Now, if you want to get attention, if you want to get attention, go right ahead and do it. Go get all the uh, go get all the attention you want. I, it's not the problem here. The issue is the, the fact that most of us don't like the attention. Being trans is a uh, not exactly something that we, um, get a start and you know just be like you know I just got to show the world. But you know what? Luckily for me, it was different. When I started my transition, I wasn't really scared, and that's what I kind of went over the top for a little bit. And trust me, I got very scared. I wore the shortest dress to church the first couple of weeks I transitioned. And you know how scary that was to go into a church bathroom, woman's bathroom? Thankfully, no one freaked out at me. Um, but it was over the top. If I wore regular clothes that day, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have gone clocked. I'm pretty sure that I probably wouldn't have felt as nervous. The, let your also this is where I say let your comfortability and confidence ease into each other, ease into it, let it flow, honey. Don't don't let it burst out. Just let it flow. Coming from the person that didn't do that, <laughs> I am just trying to get you guys because I've I've been around the block. I've been transitioning for almost eight years, guys. Eight years. I didn't think I'd see this day. I didn't think I did. Honest, most of my adulthood has been transitioning thank you lord that i'm still around and i'm still doing happy and i'm still that i'm still doing good and i'm very happy and that my transition has been as successful as it has not to mention you know in february we're getting our surgery done surgery facial feminization surgery will be done in february i have already ha i already have enough money for the surgery i'm excited my insurance is covering it because I work with Blue Cross Blue Shield and they love the LGBT community. Thank the Lord I have the job I have. But just like my surgeries, I didn't transition and decide to go through surgeries. And that leads to my last point of this video. Ease into the surgeries. If you have a lot of money, that's great. Invest in makeup, invest in, in clothes, invest in a new wardrobe, invest in new lifestyle. That's awesome. But there are a lot of trans women that get enough money they already have enough money that will go out on their first month or second month of their transition and go get boobs done, go get their ass done, go get their face done, go get a vagina. And it's really quick. I see a lot. They don't let hormones you know, ease in. And some of these boobs come out like watermelons on a flat board. Their asses look like 
I don't know. I, I don't mean to uh, to shame anybody that gets the surgeries that or get BBLs and all that stuff. It's a very courageous thing, and it's awesome to see that they're living their happy life and have the curves they want. But there is something that I have done personally for myself is that every time I've gotten a surgery, I've asked the doctors to please make it as natural as possible, not make it over the top. I don't want to look like a Barbie. I don't want to have a fake looking ass or fake tits. I don't want to have a face that looks like it's been completely botched or has lips bigger than my jaw. I want a body that looks like I was born feminine and a female and born to look like my sisters. That's what I want. Now, I'm not always, I'm never going to look like my sisters. That is what it is. But to me, that's my goal. And a disclaimer for this video, by the way, this is not to make anybody feel like doing the over the top stuff is bad and doing all this stuff is bad. I'm just trying to make it comfortable for you guys. If you want to go crazy and you want to go shake your ass in the middle of the mall or at a club on your second day of transitioning, the long wig and overdone makeup and a high pitched voice, go right ahead. But this video is not just telling you guys how to be comfortable. It's almost telling to you guys on how to take care of yourselves because people target trans people. Believe it or not. There are people that don't like us. And if you're making yourself very visible as a trans person, and I wish it wasn't like that in society, you're making it very, very easy to get targeted. So watch yourself. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys understand this video. I hope you guys understood where I was coming from. I did. I'm, I'm, I, I love you guys so much. You guys have been amazing. We're almost at 10.2K subscribers. What the f***? What have I done to deserve this amount of support? Thank you guys so much. I just, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I, like I said earlier in the video, if you guys want to purchase my book, it's down below. If you guys want to become a member, uh, I'm going to start doing some stuff for the members. And, and it's not adult content. So don't, if you're looking here for adult content, you're going to have it. You're not going to get it. Sorry. It's for extra content. I'll probably be making videos for only members. Uh, but if you guys want to be a member, down below next to my subscription button it should be a join button so that's up to you guys though anyways guys you guys just being here is what matters to me the most i i can care less about what if you don't want to put money in or not i love you guys so much you guys are amazing my you're my charlotte tears you guys are my family i'm on my charlotte your mother your trans mother <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys lots like tater tots apricots ladybugs with lots of spots bye guys